I'd like to introduce our assistant professor, Dr. Koji Kamoi, who conducted、uh, this great study regarding human T cell lymphotrophic virus type 1 or HTLV1. HTLV1 has been attracting worldwide attention since it was revealed that half of Aboriginal adults in Australia. Are infected with this virus. Looking around the world, the number of HTLV1 infected individuals in Japan is the highest among developed countries. So, Japan has been tackling HTLV infection and taking a leading role in this field. Why HTLV1 infection is important? Because this virus causes human disease. HTLV1 causes blood disease, nervous disease, And eye disease, especially adult T cell leukemia, ATL, is a life threatening blood disease. ATL has a poor prognosis. Previously, five year survival rate was just 14% with chemotherapy. Recently, allogenic stem cell transplantation, allo HCT, has improved ATL patient survival rate. However, A series of allo HSCT procedures disrupt immune homeostasis and result in systemic inflammation. Therefore, since 2013, we started to check the eye of ATL patients before and after allo HSCT. We also conducted long term follow up of these patients. Through our experience of medical care for these patients, We noted that the ocular inflammation occurs after allo HSCT. As you can see in this picture, we find that allo HSCT causes a white retinal vessel resembling the icy branches of a tree in winter, which is called frosted branch angiitis. We continued to follow up the patient. And at several months after appearance of frosted branch angiitis, the patient developed systemic inflammation such as a skin rash on the neck. These observations suggest that ocular inflammation was the first sign of systemic inflammation. Therefore, we concluded that activation of the immune system after our HSCT might cause intraocular inflammation. Which could precede inflammation of other sites and organs. This is the take home message. After stem cell transplant in ATL, keep an eye on the eye. A winter landscape in the eye could serve as an early warning sign of inflammation elsewhere in the body. Thank you very much.